No more lousy pajamas! From this day forward, I am an inventor! Do us a favor, invent yourself some underpants! In the realm of cartoons, anything is possible, and as such, there have been some awesome inventions created in cartoons we wish were real. Some of these gadgets have no real world connection, while others are starting to emerge in our reality, but not quite in the way depicted in these shows. From smartwatches to portals to other dimensions, these inventions may be weird, but awesome. Come on Morty, let's hit it. Let's start things off with a big one from Rick and Morty, this invention, which just so happens to be Rick's personal favorite and is probably one of his best ones to date we think. In short, the portal gun does exactly what you think it does. The holder of the device aims the invention and produces a green portal which leads them to a different dimension in the multiverse. Sounds awesome right? That's because it is. We want one of those, right now. While we're sure everyone would love to have the portal gun become a reality, it's dependent on one crucial piece of information, proving the multiverse exists. From there, we need to learn how to bridge one dimension to another. No easy task, and we're willing to bet we'll never see this happen in our lifetime. Instead of this massive undertaking, we're more likely to make a teleportation portal to transport us anywhere on the planet instantly. Even that though is something that is seemingly impossible, and yet, compared to a portal to other dimensions, seems much more manageable and doable. Still, one can dream, right? If you ask any kid, or adult for that matter, what device of tomorrow they wish they could have now, chances are a flying car will be the answer. Reality would begin to look a lot like Coruscant from the Star Wars prequels, but the ability to soar above the streets sounds so awesome. We have electric cars in our reality now, so the next big thing may be to replicate the car seen on the Jetsons. In case you're too young to get the reference, The Jetsons was a cartoon that aired from 1962 to 1963 by Hanna-Barbera Productions and acted as a counterpart to the Flintstones. We have cars that claim to be flying cars today, as they hover just off the ground, but those don't really count. We want to be as tall as a skyscraper, flying in the air to work. Of course, knowing how dumb people can be, is this really wise? Imagine the property damage. Perhaps the car can be pre-programmed, and the ride can be on rails to make the experience safer. We've already come to the point in our reality where we can 3D print many objects, from shoes to bowls. We can replicate a lot of physical objects, but what about food? The Simpsons were able to showcase what this would be like in the episode Future Drama. In it, Marge's 2D photograph of Bart and Lisa transforms into a cake. And while we're not going to be turning photographs into cakes anytime soon, the concept of 3D printed food isn't that far away. Don't worry though, this invention isn't going to be for mass consumption, at least not yet. Instead, it's the good folks at NASA who are looking for alternative meal plans for their astronauts in space. The idea of printing healthy, fresh food is something they're researching. Who knows, maybe future spacewalkers will be able to push a button and get a fresh apple delivered up in the vacuum of space. While that does sound ideal, we do have to wonder what that will do to the body. Is a 3D printed apple really considered an apple? Any injury blows, but a broken bone is one of those that's so extremely painful, so abruptly that we don't wish it on anyone. What's more is that having a broken bone puts you in a cast for weeks on end, and chances are, you are going to need physio after all that as well. Depending on where you live and what your health benefits are, this may set you back a few dollars. However, the brilliant mind that is Rick has a solution for this, and it's one that borders on magic. Thanks to the portal gun that we mentioned earlier, Rick jumps to another dimension and finds a place where instant bone healing is an actual thing. Rick presents to you from a world far, far away, the medicine of the future, the broken leg serum. Anyone who obtains a broken bone in their leg can inject a serum into it and watch as the bones immediately start repairing themselves. This serum is on every corner of the local drugstores, meaning anyone can get them without the fuss of a doc's note. Man, what a dimension to be alive. The Neurotomic Protocor is perhaps the greatest invention of Dexter, of the TV series Dexter's Laboratory. Despite being a child, Dexter is a genius and has invented all kinds of weird and wild inventions, many of them involving robots. 
However, his crowning jewel has nothing to do with artificial intelligence. To quote Uncle Ben from Spider-Man though, with great power comes great responsibility, and that rings true for the Neurotomic Protocol in the right hands. Dexter's invention can be a shining beacon for all of humanity. If someone with a good heart and positive intentions got their hands on the protocol, great things would happen to said person. They would be granted a superior intelligence, and a positive energy wave would turn the nearby environment into a utopia. However, if someone were to get their hands on it who had bad intentions and negative energy emission, then all those in the surrounding environment would have their energy drained away. So while the potential is there for this to be a great thing for the world, it also carries with it a lot of risks. Would you trust someone with such an invention? We know a Rick and Morty invention is good when one of Rick's inventions makes a return appearance. That's the case for the interdimensional cable, which was featured in two episodes thus far. The whole idea of the interdimensional cable is to look at the what-ifs of life, whether it be from reality or entertainment. Some examples from the first episode, Ricksty Minutes, include an episode of Game of Thrones where Tyrion Lannister is taller than everyone else and is still tormented because of his size. It also showed us a reality where Jerry Smith is a movie star and also showed us a salesman with the name Andrew in my eyes, Johnson. The invention proved to be a hit with fans, and it returned in the episode Interdimensional Cable 2, Tempting Fate. In that one, we got to see a rival reality show hosted by conjoined aliens. It also featured a bit on warping individuals suddenly to hyper-dangerous situations. Finally, we got to see a clip of a science fiction movie populated with clones of Jan Michael Vincent. The Jetsons were right on the money in terms of their vision of the future. There are a slew of inventions from that show that we'd love to see play out as the show envisioned. Case in point, jetpacks. Sure, we have jetpacks today. There are water power jetpacks out there now, which uses high water pressure to propel the user above the lake. These jetpacks have to be attached to a hose to continuously refill the tank with water, but while the sensation of floating in the air may be somewhat similar, we're thinking of an actual jetpack. The Jetsons may not have invented the idea of the jetpack, but their cartoon interpretation of it is pretty great. There's no fiery trail emitting from the exhaust port. This makes regular day-to-day -day use of the jetpack far more available in that reality. Need to get to work or school? Want to go and hang out with your friends? Take the jetpack! Gone will be the days of waiting for public trail transit, getting stuck in traffic, or wondering where you left the car keys. This awesome yet dangerous invention of Homer Simpson made its appearance in the Treehouse of Horrors number 6. It may look like a hunk of junk, but this toaster has the ability to open up passages in time itself. The technicalities of this one are a bit bizarre and all over the place, with the results mainly being left to chance and accident, but regardless of how it came to be and how it looks like, it's the function that we're talking about here. Time traveling is one of those things that many people wish they could do. How neat would it be to go travel back in time and witness great historical events? Events, or see the dinosaurs. Of course, the Simpsons also make a point to talk about the butterfly effect, where changing one tiny thing could have dire consequences on the future. We'd have to figure out a way to make the time traveler be isolated from the real world to make this truly accessible to the masses, because you know some moron would ruin it for everyone. Bouncing off the idea of things that exist in reality but not as cool as how they were depicted in cartoons, we give you the RoboMade. This invention also comes from the Jetsons and the quintessential vacuum. Today, we have vacuums that can scan a room and do all the cleaning without you lifting a finger. These devices usually are small, flat, and circular and zoom around your space, but the RoboMade from the Jetsons is not this. Because the Robo vacuum seen in the Jetsons is more humanoid in appearance than our Robo vacuums, they've actually named their assistants. Rosie has the personality you probably find with Alexa mixed with a more traditional robotic look for a person. She has a face, arms, and even a dress to help humanize the bolts and circuits. We have to wonder though, would the general public want to have an AI in their house that appears humanoid and can physically interact with the room? Or is Alexa the line when it comes to computers doing our work? Let us know your thoughts on the robotic uprising in the comments below. In the middle of the COVID-19 crisis, we think we could all use a jacuzzi suit right about now, right? Featured in the Simpsons episode, Radioactive Man, the suit in question was worn by Milhouse's mom, Luann, and gave us the meme that goes with it. When Milhouse becomes an overnight sensation, he asks his mom how she will pay for all their new luxuries if Milhouse's success vanishes. Luann replies with, I'm sorry, I can't hear you, son. 
I'm wearing a jacuzzi suit. The suit in question looks like a humanoid bubble around the individual and is full of hot water. Attached to it is a cable, likely to either heat the water or to filter it. This allows Luann to sit down on the comfort of her own couch and enjoy a nice, hot, relaxing experience. Many people don't have a hot tub at their residence, so having this feature would be all too perfect in a time like this, where so many people are forced to stay on their couches. Then again, can you imagine the mess? So as they say in Canada, peace out. Those are the weirdest cartoon inventions we thought of that we wish were real. Some of these are actually pretty dangerous, such as the Neuromatic Protocore and the Time Traveling Toaster, but could still have lots of benefits overall. Do you think they're worth the risk? What other inventions from cartoons can you think of? And what's your crazy invention? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in your playlist every day. Thanks for watching.